Senegal's University of Dakar, classes that were meant to start last October are still not underway. In this West African country's largest university, classrooms are empty and the students are in limbo. Public universities like this one are suffering from exploding student populations, lack of facilities, and shrinking budgets. And at a recent conference in Dakar, education experts reported that even when they are able to graduate, many Senegalese students are not competitive in the global job market. Education and formation the education and schooling systems are stuck in a certain way of thinking that just only offers what they have, which conditions them to continue their studies instead of progressively looking at a different way of teaching that will respond to the demands from the business community and the public sector. To meet an increasing demand for higher education, many private institutions have set up in Dakar. Courses here at the African Institute of Management began on time this year. Classrooms are packed, and students say private universities are worth the money. After the back, you have dreams. You want to be happy. You want to improve your life. You must do that in favorable conditions. In the public universities, truly, the conditions are very bad. The work is very difficult and there are lots of strikes. In the meantime, at public universities where many students can't afford private schooling, the government's planned overhaul of its education sector can't come soon enough.